So there's two guards right out front, and there should be one guy up here, yeah, in the trees, so we can look at them and kind of target them, uh, like Far Cry style. Okay, I really need to take that guy out. But as soon as I start shooting, it's going to alert everybody. I think he went down. Oh, they hit me. She used a bandage. Wish I could shut that alarm off. Fuck. Where does it sound like it's coming from? Certainly, if I shoot it, it won't... <gasps> wow. Hell yeah. So these last two dudes, man, are shaking in their boots, I would imagine. The last several I've hacked open with my knife, they have not had any loot in them. So that's pretty lame. Oh my gosh. Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one of my long plays. Hey guys, this is Proto Dead, and I'm coming back at you with another one of my long plays video series, but this one's going to be Stalker Shadow at Chernobyl. So, right now, um, I'm just coming fresh off of uh, doing the Let's Try Out, so I haven't played this game for years and years. Um, Stalker Shadow of the Chernobyl came out. I mean, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl came out in like 2004, 2005, something like that, and I can't quite remember, but it was like, you know, almost 20 years ago. And uh, it's still really good today. There's this huge cult following, and right now I am following up. I, I've really enjoyed my time doing the uh, Let's Try Out video, so I figured I'd go ahead and play it some more. And I've, I'm a few hours into it, and now I'm trying to get past this one part that's got me stumped. I keep having to uh, upload. I, keep, I mean, I keep having to reload an old save. And... Uh, I'm trying to formulate a plan to get past these dudes, so... Alright. So, I'm going to hit my map key, my M key. Basically, this is where I'm at right now, and I'm looking at this complex here. But I have to penetrate this complex, and I have to steal the documents. Um, the problem is... Is like this is this here is an instance like this is a zone that's completely separate from this there's a loading screen between here and here to get to this area so every time I leave this area to go do something else and come back all these guys respawn from what I understand um, so you can see a couple of dead guys right here I killed these two patrolmen that are on the uh, that are patrolling the, the street here I killed those two guys earlier but their bodies are still here so, um, that's not the only people I have to contend with, though. So, let me switch to a gun. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get up here on this hill and overlook the base. So, oh shit, he already saw me. What a fucking terrible mess. The AI in this game is fucking wicked smart. They're crazy, so. So, they've already tripped the alarm. There's guys down that way. There's this dude here, and now these guys over here that were on the street are probably running back to reinforce the, the alarm, which is big, big bummer. And I thought I was going to go in like sneaky, breaky, like, oh wait, there's a guy right there. Okay. I can see my mini-map is giving me some help here. I'm going to sneak up on this guy a little bit, and I'm going to lean... And he hit me once. Looks 
looks like he went down. So what I love about Stalker is uh, I can tell that the guys over at Battlestate Games have uh, paid this game a lot of attention. They played this game religiously when they were younger. Oh, shit. And I'll get to more of that in just a second. Is he coming up over here? Yeah. These guys are a little bit bullet spongy, and also the bullets have a little bit of a uh, cone. Oh shit, weapon jam, gotta reload. He went down. Okay, cool. So on my mini map, you can see that I've got two little white dots where the bodies are. And I'm going to go ahead and loot those guys. And you can see square-based inventory. Double-click, and I'm going to loot. Loot those things, and I don't need the rest of the stuff. I'm going to come up and loot this dude here. <clears throat> so this is some 5.45 uh, by 39 bullets. And that'll go in my main gun I'm rocking right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Why not? Eat it. Eat it. They don't want to eat it. Okay, so you can tell, like, look at the look at the crouch in the lower left hand. I'm standing, I'm crouched, so um, you can tell that uh, I played this game a long time ago when it first came out, but you can tell that the guys over at BSG played the shit out of Stalker. Heavily influenced their game. Escape from Tarkov that they're making. I was hoping to get that one guy capped. So, oh shit. I'm running away. I gotta go do something else. I can hear a lot of voices over there in that direction. So, um, you could tell in the lower right hand corner of my mini map in the upper left hand corner of the screen, you see the little yellow one that just popped up that means in my vicinity there's people that's like how many humans other than me are there are around so there's a lot just over the crest of this hill I can hear him yelling at me and stuff and some over there too he's dead so that's one sniper out of the tower down I'm gonna run over this way and see if I can't get a drop from this angle on these dudes. And I do have a stamina. Oh shit. Something just happened. Game froze up. And this is all 100% unmodded. Oh, what the hell? See, he was looking in the last known, my last known position. So what I was saying about the tone of fire, like you can, if you look real close, you can see that my bullets are not going, they're not going exactly where my crosshair is aiming. Why is my game fucking freezing up like this? Okay, time for a grenade. Oh no! Oh shit! Yeah, so that was a waste of grenades. Oh, that was all my grenades. Oh no. Okay, so I got my uh, heels hot keyed. So I'm hot keying my heels and I'm healing up. I'm gonna go the long flank around now. So I'm gonna go around this this hill here because this hill is irradiated. I can't cross over the top of it. I'm gonna go around here and down this street and try to attack them from that point. Oh 
Now there should be two guys patrolling over here as, as well, and we'll see if we can take them out. Hey, look, there's an anomaly dancing over there. If you'll notice on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, oh shit, I have several anomalies lined up, and those ones are like what's on my tool belt. Obviously better to move around a bunch, but you know. I thought he was down. Fuck. I'm running out of bullets too. Okay, he went down. And I got guys way off in the distance over there. Okay, so the anomalies that I have down in the bottom left are like kind of give me some power ups. So I'm gonna pick up this one. Uh, I don't know which one that one is. This one, what is it? Stone flower. Let's see if those will help me out real quick. <clears throat> okay, so I've already had several stone flowers. What I've got is I've got a thorn which decreases my radiation intake, but increases my bleeding chance. And uh, this one decreases my bleeding chance by a whole bunch. Negative 200. Oh, shit! Okay, so my mini-map is showing me that I got somebody uh, just on this side. There we go. <clears throat> as long as they don't hit me in the head, it should be good. They say don't ever re-peek from the same... He was blended in so good I couldn't see him. They say don't re-peek from the same location, but you know what? What are you going to do when you're behind an A armor personnel carrier? See, he was he was moving, and I stopped him whenever I started shooting him. And now he's trying to go back to his position he was at a second ago. Some of the AI in this game is just fucking fantastic. Okay, so going back to this, I've got bleeding and uh, bulletproof cap plus one, but my radi it increases radiation, so my radiation uh, level is over here. And if it increases too much, like uh, this radiation, I'm going to take that off, and then you can see this is going to start to climb. And then as soon as it gets to a certain level, I'll start um, taking health damage. And then, of course, that's no good because I won't be able to heal fast enough. Where is this motherfucker? Oh, shit. He just went down. I saw his arm fly up. Okay, so I'm going to take some more bullets from my gun, and it's going to increase how many I got, and I'm going to take some of these rads and that bandage. The, the rain's starting to let up, so that's maybe maybe good, maybe bad. More bullets. So, um, not exactly like Tarkov 100. Oh, shit. What the fuck? And just like in Tarkov, you have a weight limit, and you don't really want to go over that weight limit or else you're going to slow down, and then, um, of course, you're going to come to a complete stop, just like Skyrim style, if you become encumbered. Uh, well, I guess Skyrim, you can walk extremely slow, but th this game, you stop, like, dead in your tracks, can't do nothing. So, it's probably stupid for me to approach on the road. But right now, I don't have any men on the, the mini-map thing, so... I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna pick up that guy's gun and take a look at it. I'm gonna take his bullets and his bandages because I need them. So this is the bullet. I'm pretty. This is the gun. I'm pretty sure I'm carrying. I think it's really good compared to this one. Even though my durability, yeah, my durability is better because I'm 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 rocking this Obacon, whatever that is. Um, of course, all the currency for these items, lootable items, I can sell to a merchant or somebody um, for rubles, for Russian rubles. So, oh shit. You don't want none of this, buddy. Oh shit. Okay, mutated. So, um, just in case you don't know what Stalker is, Stalker is set in the Russian area, uh, or Ukrainian area of the exclusion zone around Chernobyl, where, where Chernobyl um, had melted down. 
and it just so happens that uh, in this game it takes place um, at a time where Chernobyl has a second major catastrophe and um, I'm gonna ditch this gun on the road so I can find it later there we go um, because I may try to hoof it back and sell it to a vendor for some rubles, um, but it, this, this game takes place after a second Chernobyl meltdown, and people flock to the exclusion zone, and uh, they find all sorts of mutated animals and crazy anomalies and weird shit going on. That's the reason why um, you might have seen some really weird stuff happening, uh, like over the hill back that way, um, or up on top of this hill where there's ebbs and flows of what looks like heat emissions and stuff. But uh, forgive me if I don't talk a whole bunch from here on out. Um, I'm going to try to tactically take these dudes out. I don't know why they calmed down. But I don't have any freaking grenades left. Throw the stupid handgun out. I don't need it. Oh shit, I threw down bullets. and restock the uh... okay so there's two guards right out front and there should be one guy up here yeah in the trees so we can look at them and kind of target them uh... like Far Cry style but they don't mark them on the map like in Far Cry like the first Far Cry game Sonic's pistol won't do shit for these guys, but I think I can switch to this pistol. It might be a little bit more pow potent, a little bit more powerful. Okay, I really need to take that guy out. But as soon as I start shooting, it's going to alert everybody. I think he went down. Oh, they hit me. Just used a bandage. I wonder if this is a smart move. Well, there's one of those heat emission things right over here. See it? See it? Wow, cool. Um, you'll notice that the action on this here AK style rifle is on the wrong side of it. I think uh, the guys over making the Stalker game, I think they kind of did that so it uh, there's more shit going on on the side of the gun that uh, that's kind of facing the camera so that you could see some action and shit because I mean this is one of the first games that did a lot of animations and stuff like this I mean this is the first uh, game that did multiple kinds of ammunition like I've got 9 by 18 um, oh I don't have any on me so I've got two uh, two different kinds <laughs> oh, oh shit 9 by 18 bullets that was almost a, a fucking wash I think I hear the guy breathing in here. Can he see me? What the hell? Can he see me through walls? What's the deal? Wait for him to reload. Oh no, I'm only down to like 50 bullets left. Okay, get behind this tree and take that guy's gun might have a better one than me. No. I'll carry it anyways. Okay, so I've softened him up a little bit. I want to get to that guy's... I'd really like to get to that guy's bullets. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm gonna go this way. So they're all gonna be facing uh, that away that I was just at. So I'm gonna pull out my bolt, just like in uh, Far Cry, where you could throw shit. Okay, so I don't think I can get through here. Maybe up over this way. To get around it, because if I walk through that, it's gonna fuck me up. So there's three other people so far on my mini map. Could be anywhere in that complex. Two story complex? Three story. Five people. There's a person on the outside. Oh no. He's in a guard tower up here. So that noise, that clicking noise, tells me how close I am to an anomaly. And we know it's right outside the wall. Okay, so there's a dude there. I hit him in the head and he went down. Oh, he went down hard, all the way down. These red barrels explode just like any other game, so... We might could use that to our advantage if we see a guy run over there. I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Take his rads, take his bandage. I'm going to go out this hole over here. I'm going to take a look at this this uh, purple thing on the mini-map. wonder if I'm going to be hitting rads when I go up on this hill or not. guy over here on this corner. I'm going to get this artifact or whatever it was called. I forget now. Okay. Safe. Oh, a buried safe. It's got one of the anomaly chunks in it. Okay, so that purple thing that was on the mini-map, it was because I looted a rando dude, like maybe this guy or somebody else. It wasn't that guy, but I mean, somebody like that guy, <laughs> an NPC that I murdered. Um, this is a lawless land, it's not really murder. Um, but, but he had a PDA on him, and the PDA said, hey, um, me and Igor stashed some stuff in the one spot over here. I'll mark it on my mini-map so I don't forget. Here's that body right over here. Yeah. Three. I'm dealing with three. Four. They're probably in some of these buildings. If you really got more than one shooting at you at a time, you're pretty much going to be in the world of hurt. Yeah, 
he went out behind the... No, he didn't. My crosshairs light up red whenever I'm over an enemy. Oh, I'm running so low on bullets. This is not good. Shit. Oh my gosh. Shit. Let me get to these bullets over here, like desperately. I killed him. I think. I think food weighs more than bandages. It's probably a good time to save my game. Because <clears throat> you can save scum this game, you know? There we go. Now I'm sitting pretty good. I don't know what the blue bar on the lower right hand side is. Whenever I hit tab, it's all the way full, but whenever I'm looking at this, maybe it's like armor. Oh, it is. It's got like a little shield there. So it's like my body armor I got on, how damaged it is. I'm doing better. Oh shit. Where? He's not up there, is he? He's on top of the building where I was. Oh, what a creepola. Come down. Come down, prick. Come on, fuck face. Man, right as I look away, too. Cheating ass AI. I'm playing this on Stalker difficulty as well, and they there's a lot of fans, the hardcore fans, say that's the only way to play the game, is on Stalker difficulty. There's a little chest. Nothing in it. Okay, so these ones you can break open. I didn't realize that when I did my video, uh, my Let's Try Out video. Wish I would have known that. Oh, it's something else too I noticed. Uh, <laughs> they do a good job cocking the gun every time you pull the gun out, so... If I pull my my pistol out, he's gonna cock it. And I pull my rifle out, he's gonna cock it. They're charging a bullet in there, make sure it's loaded. I don't lose any ammo that way, but you know, switch back to the gun, gotta cock it, and switch back to the rifle, gotta cock it. It's pretty stupid. I mean, it was cool back in 2004 or whatever, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of lame right now. Unrealistic. Nothing in the safe. How lame. Let's see if there's anything in the locker. Oh, and if I didn't mention this already, this is also vanilla. Like I'm I don't have any mods running right now whatsoever. So this is this is the way the game was designed. I imagine they gotta be in that building somewhere. 
big one, center one. Two of them. Where are they at? Nope. Oh, okay. I can get in here. Look at that. That, that must be on the top floor where the document is, I imagine. Hey, there's a chest over here. I wish I could shut that alarm off. Fuck. Nah, you figured there'd be a secret back there. Where does it sound like it's coming from? Certainly, if I shoot it, it won't... <gasps> wow. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So these last two dudes, man, are shaking in their boots, I would imagine. There's the upstairs. Okay. There it is. Damn it. The last several I've hacked open with my knife, they have not had any loot in them. So that's pretty lame. Oh my gosh. That scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna sit in the corner and stare at that yellow number one on the on the mini map for a second. Mm. As I take a drink and try to calm my nerves, I'm gonna hit my heel button up. And so I just use some of these bandages. I've had them hotkeyed, and uh, I'm, I've got plenty of heels. Plenty of heels. I just need. Uh, I got plenty of bullets to make it through. I just need to not get caught slipping. And a grenade. Cool, I might use that here in a minute. Yeah, I wish I could just take all the guns with me and go sell them. Oh, it's a four story. Gotta slice the pie around here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at my health. He almost had me. You never had me. Okay, so I'm probably pretty close to my weight limit. I'm over 50 and I'm going to be moving slower now. And my endurance or my stamina bar that's beneath my feet of my character on my lower left hand side is going to be... door is locked. It's going to be decreasing quite rapidly when I run now. Oh, Mark that's one. the document. I told Barkeep about you. He should talk to duty guys to let you through. I suggest you go see him fast. The duty guys. Yep, it's always the duty guys that are in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to the upper floor and see, or the upper floors.
Okay, so it was just a roof. So it was just three stories. Oh. Who knew this was here? Whoa. See? Just jumping a couple of times. Oh, I can't go up that way. There's broken rungs on the ladder. I wonder if this place, too. Yeah, broken rungs on the ladder. Damn it. What's cool about this is you can drag bodies around, like like in Skyrim, and hide them, I guess, if you wanted to. Or stack them up in precarious positions, you know, compromising sexual positions, if you wanted to. Or you can just pile them up in, in places so that, uh, you know, you know you've already looted the bodies all the way, or something like that. Um, I really don't know the full utility in moving the bodies around, but I do know that I like it. day night cycle so uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here I think uh, I don't think I can get into these bunker whatever these are hangar looking things I think those are sealed off oh this is a a place to the underground which I don't want to go I haven't gone in this building I bet you there's nothing notable in here I would like to get all the bullets off those guys, though. Yeah, so that's cool that I was able to do this uh, after a little bit of planning and actually talk. I think talking it through probably was the big, the big deal that made it uh, helpful because I, I tried to hit these guys two or three other times and I just got absolutely slaughtered. Um, let me throw these fucking things down. Well, I like how the mission item is like in your in your inventory, and you got to carry it around. Drinking booze makes you a little bit warbly. You can see now that I'm kind of like moving around a little bit, kind of sloshy. Come on, go up the ladder. Oh, where'd that guy go? Thought I shot that guy earlier in time. So I'm going to come over here and loot these guys that I killed. And I don't need those pistol bullets or nothing. And and then I'm out. I mean, if I had a tremendous amount of time, I would take all these guns and then stack them up. Like, in a spot someplace that I can come back and retrieve later. That way I can try to sell them off. But man, the guns in this game really aren't worth a whole lot. It's everything else that's worth. Which sucks, because there's a lot of guns to be had. And you can't, as far as I know, you can't repair them. So once your gun is like wore out, and it starts, the cone, like the spread around my target thing, it starts getting wider and wider and wider. And then before you know it, it's like no good to even hold on to anymore. It's just trash. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And see if I can make it over this hill. You hear that? The rad's cranking up? Oh shit, uh, that's a lot. But I am gonna hit this. And I'm gonna see if maybe Yeah, I'm up on top of the hill, right? Hey, there's a chest over here. Make it through these anomalies, it'll fuck me up. That's not a chest at all, it's just a crate. I hit one of these anti-rads. Oh, there's a chest. I gotta hurry up. I won't let me loot it. Shit. Let me loot it. Shit. 
Jesus. What else is around over here? I want to say... I'll say that you could throw an item in the anomaly and it would turn into a... Whoa. Maybe not. Turn into those little power nuggets things that I got on my tool belt, but uh, I don't know how those things pop up. I guess they just spontaneous. So I went through this whole complex. Killed a whole bunch of motherfuckers in there. Whole bunch. And they were hard. Like super hard. Whoa. This is a really awesome horror game, and I love it. Um, man, I looted all their stuff. And didn't hardly get anything out of it. I mean, look how much money I got. Where's my money at? 9,062 rubles. Oh, well. I need to go turn in this duty thing. <laughs> and that's it, man. Um... Appreciate you guys helping me through that, uh, <laughs> that uh, trying to uh, to get past that spot on the map. And uh, if you like this sort of stuff, give me a like. I, I don't I don't normally try to do open world games. I like to do single player games that have a story. But uh, on these long plays, I just couldn't help but share this one because this, this one was so much fun. And this stalker game, if no one's ever played it, it's definitely worth it. If you're into first person shooters, this is like you know the grandpappy of survival first-person shooter RPG realistic gun mechanics sort of game so um, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video and since you're here why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have I appreciate you stopping by subscribe for future content share my video with a friend if you can it helps me out a whole lot this is proto dead saying I'll see you in the future